the Large Hydrin Collider called CERN, known as the Atom Smasher. Six, six, six. A particle accelerator with the circumference of 17 miles, 350 feet deep, where they found the idol of a god, Sir Nunes. Half man, half beast, influenced by the serpent in the land of Apollyon. Now inside this collider, they have a massive eight-spoked atlas detector, consisting of eight coils with a circle in the middle. Let's count the coils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the ancient world, you have the same design. The Hindus have it. The Aztec sunstone has it. Even witchcraft has eight sections in a circle in the middle. There are eight world religions. The Dome of the Rock, where they falsely claim the location of God's temple, has it. The Pope holds a monstrance with the same design. He serves in the Vatican City in St. Peter's Basilica, where there's a circle in the middle with an obelisk. Now how many spokes do you count? Eight. Could this be a blueprint? of a mass project of revelation proportions. The Mayan civilization had this same device. They believed it was a gateway that led from a serpent rope to the underworld. Much like the movie Stargate, where they used an eight-spoke device for teleportation. Now watch this trailer carefully and ask yourself if there are any similarities. A mystery. A secret, a threshold to the future. Where'd you find this? I've, I've never seen anything like this. One man will break the code and open the door and open the door. You should read Stargate. That was in front of us the whole time. The other will lead the way. Why are you here? I'm here in case you succeed. Backup storage, reserve power, on. What is that? It's your stargate. We've opened a doorway to a world we know nothing about. We've opened a doorway to a world we know nothing about. Could this be the underworld that the Mayans were trying to contact? None other than the bottomless pit of Revelation 9. And the fifth angel sounded his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from heaven to the earth, and there was given to him the key to the bottomless abyss. And he opened the bottomless abyss, and there went up smoke from the pit, like the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by the smoke from the pit. And they have over them a king, the angel of the abyss. His name in Hebrew is Abaddon, but the name he has in Greek is Apollyon. Apollyon, the Greek name meaning destroyer, also known as Shiva, whose image shadows the CERN building. Now Jacob's ladder led to a gateway, but in heaven, and he dreamed, and behold, a ladder was set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And he was afraid and said, How fearful is this place! This is nothing but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. When Nathanael was first called, Jesus mentions the same gateway to heaven. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, Hereafter you shall see heaven open and the angels of God descending to and ascending from the Son of Man. 
There is only one true way to enter into God's heavenly realm. Not CERN or no other ancient pagan religion can achieve this, for Jesus said, I am the door. If anyone enters through me, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and shall find pasture. And those pastures will be in God's kingdom, where there will be the new Jerusalem, which is interesting. It has 12 pearly gates. And its gates shall never be shut by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and the honor of the nations into it and nothing that defiles shall ever enter into it, nor shall anyone who practices an abomination or devises a lie, but only those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life.